Melissa Roush is back on the bench for a new season of Night Court, where she's still trying to heal some old wounds. Take a look. This is just like that time in third grade when you got all mad at me because I told you the only way to win a dodgeball was to catch it with your mouth. I got athlete's mouth because of you. <laughs> and a lot has changed since then. For instance, I'm a judge and you're a criminal. Alleged. Although that seems beside the point now. <laughs> I know that what I did wasn't technically legal, but I was pushing boundaries like I do with you. It's why we're friends and you love that about me. I don't love that about you. I don't even like you. <laughs> but I'm baby Heather. Please welcome Melissa Rouse. <laughs> to the Thank show. Thank you. Thank you. So nice hey. to see all of you. Hi. We love having you here. You know, last time you were here, you caused quite a stir with the sound, something you were talking about. It went viral this whole thing. Well, tell us what happened. Tell okay. Everybody. Okay. So, <laughs> so last time I was here, I talked about the fact that I had hobbit hands. <laughs> <laughs> and that um, early on in my career, oh, they I, are small. They, they're, yeah. they're small. They Why also are small too. Here, they, look, they, look, look, look. They're, oh wow, yeah. she's really small. She's, she's got yeah, really even small. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And they're also they're like stumpy and a little dry. So <laughs> uh, I talked about how I lost some jobs early on in my career because of these hands and people being horrified at like commercial auditions when I would show them to the camera. They'd say, Oh God, <laughs> really? not, you're not getting a job. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently it got more attention than anything I've ever said. I don't know if people thought it was like a medical condition. <laughs> Yeah. that I actually had <laughs> hobbit hands. But after that, I'd walk down the street and even like TMZ would stop me like, hey, show us your hobbit hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's oh, the so, beauty yeah. of the view. <laughs> All of us, including probably the press, are clamoring for an update. Have your hands caused any problems in your career yeah. since then? Um, <laughs> Luckily, luckily, I've been okay. I think it's more the lower portion of my body right now is, hap is a problem at work because at, at night court, <laughs> we have a lot of the same furniture from the original, and that happened to be one of the tallest casts yes. in television. Yes. Oh. Um, and although we have John Larroquette, who is 6'4", yeah. I really, I hurt that average not being <laughs> like... You bring like, down the class average yeah, on that. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Um, and my feet don't quite reach the floor um, <laughs> on a lot of our... Yeah, that's... Uh, well, that's, that's why oh. you probably have small feet, too, right? I do. Tiny I, feet, tiny hands, tiny girl. Yeah. It all works. Oh, well, thank you. It yeah. works. Yeah. But there's dangling. There's a big, big dangle yeah. that happens. Yeah. Well, not only thank do you. fans have you to thank for bringing the beloved Night Court back, Thank you, of the 80s and the 90s. Um, and you're one of the show's executive producers, which is really cool. But you also get to flex that legal me uh, you know, muscle as the judge. Do you have legal experience? I don't. I wish I had more legal experience, but I the only legal experience I had. It sounds like you do. I mean, the, the uh, that's very nice. The writers <laughs> help me with that a lot. Um, I the only real legal experience I had was I worked at my cousin's law firm when I was in college. He just threw me a bone and said you could come work here as oh. a, as a secretary, and I was so bad at it. So absolutely terrible. And it was before everything was computerized, so there was an actual file room where I had to oh. Oh, filing, which I'm not good at. There is and another bad secretary at this table, really? too. Yeah. <laughs> really? She got she was fired. She got fired. She, <laughs> I she got, got fired. fired from GMA. You really? Yeah. Uh, Twice. Yeah. Twice? <laughs> did you get fired also? I did, by my own cousin, because he was just fine. I would sit in there and like eat chocolate. He's like, why are there constantly crunch bars in the files? You're gone, you're terrible just at this. tempting you. Exactly. Well, um, everyone, was, everyone loved you in the Big Bang Theory where you played Bernadette. And you recently reunited with your co-star, uh, Kunal Nair, on an uh, episode of Night Court. What was that like being back together? Because people were going wild. Social media loved it. Oh, it was it, truly a dream come true. We hadn't been on set together since Big Bang ended, and it was just so special. And he's one of the greatest, greatest people in the world. Um, and we actually have a little romance that happens in the episode. It's coming up next week, which is really cool. Oh. And my husband is actually an executive producer on the show, too. And he, he loves Kunal as much as I do. And he has zero ego about me having any sort of romance on screen. He's really, he's wonderful at keeping it separate. Yeah. To the point that we were doing the, the romantic, intimate scene, and we did a take, and I kissed him, and he came up to me after, he's like, you know, 
you should really get into it more. Like, <laughs> go for it, go for it. Like, look at his complexion, stroke his face, really go for He's it. like, I know what you're capable of. <laughs> <laughs> go bigger. Yes. Very good. See? See? <laughs> So your husband is a writer with you, and now he's an EP, and also he was your manager. He's got a lot of hats, this guy. Yeah, I mean, and manager was loosely. I, it was, I was starting out, and I could not get representation in the mm. business. It was the hands. It was the hands. <laughs> people don't want to represent people with Hobbit hands. <laughs> so there I, are so many Hobbit agents out there. William Morris, they, whatever. Tons of Hobbit agents. They didn't want agents. me. They didn't William want Morris me. is dead. <laughs> William Morris oh, is no oh, longer alive. Two hobbit yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, growing up, you you had... Wait, were you finished? Oh, no, no, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, TV and comedy and shows, <laughs> like, were a big part of your childhood, and they clearly stuck because you're funny. Oh, um, thank you. But now you have two kids of your own with your writer husband who wears many hats. Uh, so are you a TV kind of household? Are there any go-to in your house? Um, you know, we love Bluey. Oh, so do we. Bluey is a big one. It's yes. it's such a good show. It's so well done. It's so funny. Um, I found myself even watching it when the kids they are busted you, didn't they? Oh yeah, they totally. I'm sitting there crying. Um, but it's so it's so cute and fun. But and it's for those of you who don't know, it's a family of dogs. Yes. And the parents, the dog parents, are so cool. They're like, so cool. They're so they're up for anything the kids <laughs> they make throw up at games. Them. Yeah, they're smarter so, than Peppa Pig's family. There is because <laughs> Peppa Pig's fun. family. I just always felt they weren't. <laughs> you know, for pigs, especially. Well, well, they're very you know, smart. They, pigs. they are because kids are listening. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. I always wanted them to be more on the ball, but yeah. they never seem yeah. to be. Well, I'm not putting down Peppa Pig, y'all. Yeah, I do like not it. come for Peppa Pig. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Pig's Melissa, I heard you had a funny story about the time as your with your husband as your manager. Can oh, you tell us? oh <laughs> yeah. So um, when uh, we were starting out, he um, I didn't have the representation. So we went to um, this. It was like sort of a uh, a comedy showcase where I was doing stand-up comedy. And I didn't have a manager, and they said, "Oh, we'll bring your manager." I was like, "I guess I'll." bring this guy, yeah. my husband. So I went to like men's warehouse and I dressed him up in a suit. <laughs> and it sort of backfired though, because we were sharing a hotel room. They're like, oh, looks that's like, that's how she got her manager. <laughs> we're sleeping in the, the same room together. Yeah, Amazing. How so many children do you have? I have two kids. Yeah. 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 And the, oh, the Bluey thing, it's so funny because on that show, because the parents are so cool, when I was growing up, a lot of the kids' shows, the parents are sort of buzzkills. Yeah. But yeah. since these parents are so cool, I find myself getting really competitive yeah. with Bluey's mom. <laughs> I, I can be that cool. I, I, I don't even aim for Bluey's mom. I aspire to Daniel Tiger's parents. Oh, yeah. Well. That's hard, babe. It makes me feel inadequate. It's fine. I, it should. It's <laughs> dance mode Nobody on Bluey. If they put you in dance they mode. They do it all the time and freeze. Yeah, and it's always in the most inappropriate. I'm like, I can't go into dance mode at the pharmacy. What are you doing to me? But I got to do it because I want to be as cool so as Bluey's mom. Said, thanks to Melissa Rouse. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch Night Court oh, on yeah. Tuesday nights. Yeah. You can check your local list.